Hey there, champions. Welcome back to another Read Aloud. We are on the last story from Zen Shorts, which is written by John J. Muth, and it's called A Heavy Load. Here we go. Two traveling monks reached a town where there was a young woman waiting to step out of her sedan chair. The rains had made deep puddles and she couldn't step across without spoiling her silken robes. She stood there looking very cross and impatient. She was scolding her attendants. They had nowhere to place the packages they held for her so they couldn't help her across the puddle. So they have their hands full and they can't help her and she's upset. The younger monk noticed the woman, said nothing, and walked by. The older monk quickly picked her up and put her on his back, transported her across the water, and put her down on the other side. She didn't thank the older monk. She just shoved him out of the way and departed. As they continued on their way, the young monk was brooding and preoccupied. After several hours, unable to hold his silence, he spoke out. That woman back there was very selfish and rude, but you picked her up on your back and carried her. Then she didn't even thank you. I set the woman down hours ago, the older monk replied. Why are you still carrying her? Very interesting. What do you think he means by that? He wasn't the one carrying her, but why did you think he said that? He said, I set the woman down hours ago. Why are you still carrying her? Do you think you have carried it long enough? Asked Stillwater. Yes, said Carl. Good, said Stillwater. And this is how Addie, Michael, Carl, and Stillwater became friends. And that's the end. There is an author's note at the end, and I'll just read a little bit of it. It says, what is Zen? Zen is a Japanese word that simply means meditation. In Zen, the teachings of the Buddha have always been passed down from teacher to student. The Buddha's method of meditation was to sit very still, yet remain completely alert, allowing first one thought and then another to rise and pass away, holding on to none of them. When you look into a pool of water, if the water is still, you can see the moon reflected. If the water is agitated, the moon is fragmented and scattered. It is harder to see the true moon. Our minds are like that. When our minds are agitated, we cannot see the true world. And I'll stop there. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Have a wonderful night, sleep well, sweet dreams, and I will see you guys next time. Good night.